Hi everyone. Hello. You had your hair cut. I've had my hair cut. Did you get it cut for the vlog? No, I didn't get it cut for the vlog. <laughs> Got it cut it. for the party. <gasps> the party. The party. I'm very excited. Yes. My own, you, well, you should be. I used to hope so too. <laughs> Gone to all these lengths. I would expect at the very least excitement. Well, thank you for yeah. all of your hard work. Thank you. Um, so, um, I guess we could talk about my or our La Connor experience. Okay. Because we went up and hung out with the Pranskis for yes, the weekend. and about 80 other people. And, the, and 80 other people. Did and the professional Barb. training. And Barb. Barb, a very important part of the process. Yes. And um, it was, it was <laughs> the timing of it was perfect for me. Because I think because of said party... I was getting into quite a load of mood last week. Said party. Yes, your party is coming up. <laughs> you I've had to organise. You worrying about it. I've had to. That's the yes, English thing. I made English. you. You did. You have had a gun at my head for the last six months to <laughs> so, organise a party. So you offer to throw me a party and then you say I made you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the English way. It is. It is the English way. Oh, you're finally getting it after all these years. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I got in a bit of a low mood about the party. Um, I think because I had no idea that um, what was involved and what I had to do. And there were all sorts of um, um, unforeseen um, things that needed to be to come into play, like security guards and valet and... Um, getting me a bodyguard. Insurance and <laughs> event insurance and God knows what else I've been... had had to sort of sort of come up with why are you getting a security guard because um the venue insists that we have to have a security oh, guard oh i see i yeah. thought you were getting me a bodyguard no 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 you're gonna have to <laughs> it's like the kevin costner movie you're gonna have to look after yourself <laughs> <laughs> well i don't know maybe the security guard will intervene <laughs> i don't know what skills he has i don't think i ever saw that movie i don't think he's planning on being your personal bodyguard though Anyway, so I got into a bit of a low mood and, and I think that that was carrying into other areas of my life and I was getting a bit fractious and not myself. I wasn't <laughs> myself. <laughs> and then uh, I think that just being in the, uh, just being in the energy of, of uh, that group, um, certainly being with Barb and the Pranskis and the mentees, right from the get-go, it was a really nice feeling just in the first meeting that we had as a group. And then going into the training, that sort of carried on from there. And, um, and I felt like I got into this space where through other people sharing, um, with me doing one-on-ones with people, where I could see how um, their circumstance, so for argument's sake, in this case, the, the circ my circumstance was the party. And I think that there was some old habitual thinking that was responding to that, that really started to get a little bit out of hand. And I started to, you know, to feel, not myself, started to feel negative. But I feel like I got this sense this weekend how this circumstance, being the party... <laughs> that I make you have. Made, you made, have. Me, made me organise <laughs> for you. Um, it's just... The, the response to that, the old pattern of thinking in response to that is not something that I need to touch. It's something that I can almost compartmentalize. It's something that I kind of in my head see, yeah, there's the party and there's my old habitual thinking that seems to want to get on board it, which is not very pleasant and, and probably quite judgmental about you and <laughs> about <me. laughs> other things. But I can just leave that alone. It's not like I, had a I have to touch it. And then I had this great... Um, a uh, coaching session with a with, with a client today and they talked about the very same thing but they actually talked about it yeah i just leave it in my refrigerator <laughs> it's like i have this meal and i can put it in the refrigerator i don't really need to touch it i don't need to eat it i can uh, i can think about feasting on something else so i guess the term compartmentalize maybe not the best way of articulating it but in my mind it's like I feel like I can just leave it alone because it's just old habitual thinking that was responding to circumstance. You kicked the stand this time, not me. I did. I did. You're always blaming me for that. But I was listening. Okay. So when you're saying compartmentalize, would you say that 
if you just leave that thinking alone, don't feast on it, just let it be, does it just automatically dissolve? Yeah, I think that um, it's not like it's a technique. It's, uh, it's an understanding that I will come back into my natural way of being, which is to be in balance. So that I think, having that at the back of my mind, having the understanding that the party circumstance could bring up all kinds of old thinking for me, is kind of normal and natural in itself. It's kind of, you know, it's, it's, it's not surprising that, that that sort of thing can happen, that, that something that feels like a little bit stressful can, can conjure up all these old thoughts. But I don't need to buy into that, I can just leave that alone. And I think what was so wonderful about this weekend was when Linda was talking about how you can actually have external stressful stimuli, if you like, and uh, and you can still remain in well-being, and it kind of like that's what that speaks to for me. It's like almost like I can remain in well-being, um, but I can have those moments of of, uh, of wanting to sort of get on board something that would typically feel stressful. But I seem to have developed an ability to see see my thinking so much quicker, and as a result, coming out of this weekend, I feel a lot more relaxed. I feel so much more relaxed about the party. And um, and just in my general state, general state of being. Oh, that's great! And yeah. thank you for throwing the party for me. You're welcome. It's gonna be a good one. <laughs> and if we haven't invited you and you want to come, let us know. I know there was all sorts of worry for me on that level. Who have we not invited? <laughs> Or who have I forgotten to invite? <laughs> what was most horrifying? Or who have I invited and spelt their name wrong? That's exactly it. I sent the wrong <laughs> think, email out. I think 95% of the people's names are spelt wrong on the list. Oh, well, it's not my skill set. <laughs> it's not what's important. But I wanted to say one thing in terms of, you said external circumstances. Um, we can even have well-being with stressful external circumstances. I mean, really, there's no such thing as that because what we feel is our thinking, circumstances are just circumstances, and we feel whatever we're thinking about them. You're just showing off there, aren't you? <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I think that's an important point. That's very Because then otherwise it looks like circumstances have power. That's a very good point. Hmm. It's a very good point to finish on. <laughs> Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a great weekend.